everyone's down to it. <laughs> what keeps me going? Um, I guess it's my coach telling me to come out to training nearly every day. Um, other than that, it's caffeine. I know it's just like <laughs> I suppose it's just trying to realise my own potential. Um, and last year I kind of came within a whisker of one of my lifetime best, which I ran the year previous, um, and that was in a championship race. So it's just really about trying to trying to achieve what I feel like I'm fully capable of in the sport. Yeah, for, for me, it's been surrounded by great people. Like I said. Winners aren't winners by coincidence. It's because of the, the standards that they set for themselves, it's the determination, the dedication, the motivation, and, 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 and aiming as high as you possibly can. So again, being around people like this and seeing them achieve great things, it gives you the motivation then to achieve great things. And then hopefully the younger generation coming behind us see us achieving and then they, they aim to achieve even higher than us. So for me, it's, a, it's about who you surround yourself with. It's about meeting good people. It's about building relationships. And again, like Flowgas is a, a great company and everyone here is doing that. So again, it's just grateful to be a part of the journey, grateful to be to be aiming as high as you can and to be a success. Um, what probably keeps me going is like, I'm sitting on stage now with, with two Olympians and a little bronze medalist and I'm the only one that hasn't actually reached the Olympics. So for me, to get to the Olympics and, and follow out on a dream that I've, I've had since I was a little girl is something that um, keeps me going but as Aidan said like well, I'm surrounded here by great people and great athletes so to be just as good as them is, is a goal in itself. Hi so this one's for the boxers um, I have a 10 year old boy who's massive into boxing so I suppose what advice would you give to him um, he's obviously boxing crazy and he's a big tournament coming up now in months time at the end of June so what advice would you give yeah, for me it would be enjoyment. If I could go back and give myself one, one key tip from coming up would be completely enjoy it. There would be a lot of pressure, especially if you're good. There would be a lot of pressure from, from outside people to put on you. But for me it's complete enjoyment. If you do the small things right, if you look after yourself, if, if you go to training and, and tick the, all the boxes, the score will take care of itself. And that's something that I was taught years ago and something that motivated me. And, Something I wish I had listened to more when I was younger, growing up, is complete, completely enjoy it. There's n nothing in sport that you can't achieve, nothing in life that you can't achieve if you set your sights high enough. But along the way, the key thing is enjoyment and uh, aim as high as you possibly can. Um, I second what Aidan said and also to have a bit of self-belief. Um, if you believe in yourself, and there's nobody that can stop you. Um, and give it your all, like once you get in, enjoy it and just give it your all and you'll be fine. And what's the worst that can happen? That's what I say to myself when I get in. What's the worst that's going to happen? I lose and then you come back and you get better. So if he enjoys it, uh, that's all that matters. Brilliant, thanks. Yeah, back, yeah. No doubt this is a, an athletics question. <laughs> it's just one from Mark. You've all had amazing um, career highlights, but how do you deal with the low points, the injuries, getting yourself back up and getting yourself focused again? Yeah, for me, it was just about realizing that, again, I hadn't achieved my potential. Um, and I had a lot of races throughout my career where like, I had competed at a high level. One of those was the um, 2016 road race in Newcastle. And I just finished second to Dave Rodisha. So like that was my level that I knew I could get back to if everything went right. And it was kind of more like a problem for me. I had to figure out what, what it was I needed to correct to get back to that point. Um, and uh, yeah, and it was just about putting things in place, like my coach and um, my warm weather training, um, you know, my gym, my speed endurance, my, my, you know, my speed and endurance. So it was just about doing all of these things. And um, yeah, as I said, it was, it was a challenge. I had to, had to try to work through more than anything, yeah. Anyone, anyone else? Yep. Yeah. Oh, make me work for this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my question is, how do you qualify to become an Olympian? Does Team Ireland come knocking at your door? Or do you apply? Or do they monitor your wins? How does it work? I, I think it's different in all different sports. Um, for me and Aidan, uh, we, we would have to go to the Olympic qualifier and reach a certain stage. In, in that tournament and you automatically qualify but I'm not too clued into the athletics and how that works um, but for boxing that's how it'll work but 
How did it work for Yeah, similar enough. I, I suppose like I have to qualify now from July 1st when the window opens um, and I can qualify by running the, the time, which is 144.7, or I can qualify through the ranking system. It's a bit confusing, but that's the, the main ways that I can qualify. Yeah, there's kind of, in athletics, and there's set numbers per each event, and then through that, say, World Athletics and in conjunction with the International Olympic Council, I hope we get Peter's looking at me here, kind of going, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Um, and then as a result of that, then they kind of earmark the numbers that they would like per event. So Mark, I think in the 800, it's what? Yeah, it's 48 and 800. 48, so they can only have 48 entrants. So then they kind of go look through the times and on average, they look at kind of a, a fast qualifying time, which is, you said 144? 144.7 for yeah. my event, yeah. So 144.7, if you run that, you're in. If you don't, then it goes back to what they've now introduced in recent times is a point system or a quota system where you do various races around the world and you get points. And then if you run fast, the times get you a bit of points and then it's ranked on the next um, number who kind of out, outside of who hasn't qualified or who has the time of the automatic. And then the shortfall is made up by who's next in the quota system. Something like that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Not only in athletics, I don't even know about this one. Um, any other questions? No? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Who's the, the person on any of the teams you've gone away with that you least like to be with and most like to be with? <laughs> 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 and the least like to be with is only because they're big messers when they're going to mess I know, I know this guy, David Gillick, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> 